Hello everybody and welcome back and it's a gorgeous Friday afternoon in Shropshire. Pretty warm, a little bit of a breeze but it's all going to change isn't it at the weekend and I'm thinking what is it I need to do to get my veg plot prepared for potentially heavy rain, thunderstorms and with that you normally get wind and I've checked the forecast for my area and we've got some pretty gusty uh, wind as well so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do I'm going to walk around and just talk through what I'm going to prepare for the weekend so the first thing I'm going to do is think about tall plants that are either climbing or are just tall you know things like peppers and what have you so I've looked at my forecast and the wind is going to be coming from the northeast, which is kind of that direction, swinging round to the southeast by Saturday evening, and then it's swinging back that way on Sunday. So I'll be checking that my tomatoes down there are as protected as they can be, make sure that the canes are solid and that the plants are well tied to the canes. I'll be making sure that any covers that I've got on, like this netting is well secured. The peppers that I've got growing in that middle bed, I'll probably add some more string higher up to support some of the taller ones. Sweet pea, not the sweet pea, sorry, but the monster two, I'll make sure that they're well um, secured and the broad beans might put even though I've got a piece of string round lower down I might put another one higher up around those stakes just to make them a bit more secure these potatoes I'm not worried about anyway because they're probably going to be coming out on Monday so that I'm not concerned about these ones I might see if I can do something and protect them with some stakes or some string maybe things like these tomatoes well they'll go into the greenhouse anyway so will the cucumbers uh, these peppers that are in the pots anything that's tall and could suffer some wind damage not a massive amount i can do with the garlic and the onions um, i think i'll just leave those what else will I be doing? I'll obviously walk around and make sure that there's nothing lying about that can be uh, damaged or blow around and damage something else. I'll be taking, actually this water butt, yeah I will actually, I'll be taking this water butt lid off because that guttering I just recently put on isn't finished and it, the water needs to fall off the end of the guttering and into the water butts. And this one round here, I'll be opening the lid again so the water can fall from there and straight in. And the other thing is when I water tonight, I won't replenish the butts from the hose. I'm gonna hope that we get enough rain tomorrow that one, I'm not gonna to have to water the garden and two, uh, it will have filled up the water butts for me. So just have a think about your own gardens and plots because we've all got lulled into this sort of isn't it lovely it's summer you know uh, nice and hot quite calm but i don't think that's going to be the case this weekend and i think we could have a couple of afternoons or nights of blustery wet conditions and heavy rain possibly we've got a 70 percent chance on Sunday of heavy rain and it's 60% tomorrow so it's worth thinking about guys I've, I've, it's occurred to me so I thought I'd mention it um, I'm sure you guys need to go do things uncover your water containers or tie things up make, th make sure things are secure close the greenhouse door etc all right thanks very much and I'll see you next time